Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, so today what we're going to try to do is get rid of this, and we're going to be installing the Chevy illuminated bow tie, which some people are calling the glow tie. Okay, so all you really get is the glow tie itself and the wiring harness. So this just plugs directly into the factory wiring harness. This goes uh, into the back of the headlight. And the other one you take off, which looks like this will go into this side. It says to do it on the passenger side. And this will just plug into the back here. And it should look really awesome. So we're going to go for it. But I'm going to try, guys, instead of taking all this out in the grill, I'm going to try something different. So if it doesn't work, you won't see it. <laughs> but if it does, I will show it to you. But my plan is to pop this one off using some body panel removing tools. And um, then I think I'm going to try to stick the wiring through. Everyone has a real hard time getting the grill off, it's, so it seems. And um, so I think I may be able to do that and um, not take the grill off. So we'll give it a whirl and see what we got. So stand by. So guys, I'm going to try to use these body panel remover tools to get this baby off of here. It may break it. It may not, but I think if it doesn't, I'm going to try to feed the uh, harness through without removing the grill. I'll probably still have to take all this out, but we'll get to that point. So let's give this a whirl and see how we end up. So if I do a whole bunch of cussing, we'll edit it out. And I don't want to scratch my paint. So I should probably have some blue tape around it or something, but I have got PPF all over this truck, so. Yeah, I kind of can see in there to the um, tabs that I want to push. Looks like I need to push them in on this side. Yeah, so this tab's out. That's good. But the bottom one's obviously still in. Just depends on how aggressive I want to get with it, I guess. Oh, there we go. That easily, guys. So I just gently pried out till I could see these tabs right here. Okay? And, um, when I saw them, I just pried opposite and it came right out. So there's no broken, nothing tab is broken or nothing. So anyway, we'll keep that for just in case sometime down the road. Anyway, so my idea now, guys, is to, um, you can see there's quite a generous hole here. So I'm going to take out this top piece. The, um, I guess it's the uh, air cleaner splash shield. So to do that, you need to have a T15 Torx bit to take off your latch handle. You may be able to get this splash shield out without taking this off, but I think this will be a lot easier and quicker for you. So just take these two out real quick. Get this out of your way. I'm gonna set these right back in there for a second. Now, I took a couple of these out already, but you've got um, 10 of these that you got to get. I used a standard to get them started a little while ago. So you pop that top loose until it comes up about that far, and you pop the whole thing out. Okay, so 10 of those. So we'll keep them in a safe place. Okay, we got those 10 tabs out of there, so we're just going to lift it up out of the way. I just set it off to the side somewhere. So guys, one suggestion I have is if anyone's helping you <laughs> per se or running around or whatever, and there's even the slightest possibility that your hood could get closed during this, I'd go ahead and put this back on because if it gets closed accidentally, you're going to be really screwed on trying to get it open because you're not going to have your fingers up that far. Anyway, that's just a suggestion. If no one's around, you don't have that opportunity to happen, then don't worry about it. So back to the job at hand. What we did here is... um. We hooked our harness in um, directly on the back of the driver's side. It's just a two-part like I showed you before. You unhook one, plug it in, plug the other end in off of that. So we came through the bottom, went through there, and then came right up through here. Zip tied these two together, and then we clipped the clips on the top here of the active shutter system. Okay, so we're well clear of them, and we went down in front, as you saw there, so all that's good. Now, um, when I zipped those together over there, I just made sure that everything would still fit through here and look factory. Okay, so that's what we got. 
All right. So now we're just going to install our clips back here, guys, and put our hood opening attachment back in place with our T15, and we'll be good to go. So, any questions or comments, um, let us know. Again, we're going to show you this tonight here in a little bit, how pretty it is. So, uh, give us a like if this helped you out and saved you from screwing around with that grill. And um, we really appreciate it. And we got a lot more videos coming, guys. I got the Corsa Racing Exhaust for this. Um, I got a cold air intake for this. Uh, we, I'm going to put some Raptor lighting in here as well. Um, I got a Putco light bar for the rear. Um, inside bed lighting goes on and on. And some more motorcycle stuff, too. And I'm going to have Gina back out here in those little shorts doing some videos. So you guys subscribe because I got a uh, giveaway going on pretty soon. And we're digging the Naughty Donkey car, the 33 Ford supercharged out of the trailer. So that'll be coming soon too. Stay tuned and be back for some Naughty Donkey stuff, guys. Okay, guys, so here's how the um, illuminated bow tie, the glow tie turned out. So it's not as bright as the other lights, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think, honestly, it looks pretty good. So anyway, I saw some other guys on YouTube were taking off the entire grill, front bumper, tires and wheels, fender liners and all that. So hopefully my simple method will save you some time and energy. Thanks.